Clear Skin. Clear Skin is actually pretty easy to achieve, but it does require some effort, and um, it requires you to be eating a really healthy diet. That means, you know, you gotta basically give up a lot of the foods that cause acne. One of those foods that probably is the biggest aggravator of acne is dairy, and the other one would be sugar. So, you know, dairy products, um, sugar, fried foods, a lot of these things are really, really bad for your skin. Um, the easiest way you can basically tell if dairy is uh, causing your skin <clears throat> to break out is to go 30 days dairy free. So that means, you know, don't drink any dairy for 30 days and see how your skin is. See if it clears up. Um, if it does, then you know that dairy was causing your, you know, your acne. And um, for a lot of people, dairy is a big culprit. And sugar, you know, would be second. So, I also want to talk about um, putting things on your face. What I've learned and what I've experienced is that the less things that you put on your skin, the healthier your skin will be. So you don't have to buy, you know, um, skincare products and all these things. I mean, there's a few good companies out there like Juvia uh, from the Amazon Herb Company, things like that. But I have noticed that the less things that I put on my face, I don't normally put anything on my face, not even oil, and I just want to touch on that. Um, most of the oils that people tell you to put on your face can actually clog and plug up your pores. It's called uh, camo, com comogenic. I don't think I'm saying it right, but um, yeah, there are certain oils that will clog your pores. And a lot of those oils are oils that everybody tells you to use. Um, coconut oil, olive oil, these oils are very heavy oils and they can clog your pores and cause acne. So I know there's people out there saying, you know, put olive oil on your skin, put coconut oil on your skin, or, you know, put all these different oils on your skin. That's only going to make your acne worse, trust me. You just want to, you know, clean your face with a good soap like Dr. Bronner's or um, there's a good sea buckthorn soap from the Cebu company and I would use like a good um, healing clay a betanoid green clay and maybe do that a couple times or more a week depending on how severe you know you have pimples and that will really help to clear up your skin and just stay away from all of the oils and putting anything on your face. That even includes, you know, if you're a girl, makeup and things like that. All those things will really clog your pores. And if you still want to use makeup and stuff like that, then uh, use, like, fruit. Um, so, you know, the less things that you put on your skin, the healthier your skin is going to be in the long run. Believe me, that's true. Um, you don't have to be putting all of these, you know oils and everything on your skin because it's just going to clog it up, it's going to make your skin look greasy, um, it's going to cause, you know, pimples, and it's just not a healthy environment for your skin. Um, just think about it, you know, babies don't put anything on their skin, and their skin is beautiful, you know, it's, it's really clear, it's healthy, it's soft. If you have dry skin, you got to work internally. You know, you got to address these problems internally. If you have dry skin, you probably are dehydrated, and you probably also have a deficiency in the EFAs, the essential fats. So you just got to increase the good healthy fats, omega-3 and omega-6, in your diet, and um, start drinking more water, and your skin will get soft. And you don't have to put anything externally on your skin. It just internally, your skin will be moistured from the, the dietary oils that you're consuming in the water. Um, the other thing is that, you know, again, 
the less things that you put on your skin, the less irritation you're, you're putting on your skin. And so your skin can naturally cleanse itself because your skin is just naturally shedding its old skin cells and it's naturally cleansing itself every day. So don't be misled by people telling you, oh, just slather on all of these oils and everything. I'm here telling you that the less stuff you put on your skin, and if you don't put anything on your skin, that's even, that's even better. The only thing that I would recommend putting on your skin, if you do want to put anything on your skin, is again, the clay, aloe vera, fresh aloe vera, which is very healing to your skin, and also making your own face mask with natural whole fruits and vegetables, you know, and leave that on for 15-20 minutes. Those are really beneficial for your skin, and they're more powerful than any skin lotion, potion, or whatever you're buying for $100 on a shelf. You know, I don't care how good they claim that they are. Uh, if you want to get the most potent nutrition for your skin, then eat a healthy diet and and put things, real whole foods, mashed up or whatever externally on your skin so that you can feed those skin cells and then just wash it off. That's the best way to get healthy skin. And if you want even healthier skin, you could take some really good herbs like cayenne pepper, yellow dock root, milk thistle. Those are all good for your liver and for your circulation. If you get those organs working really well, your skin is going to really be healthy. So, you know, don't be fooled and be misled by people telling you, you got to use coconut oil, you got to use olive oil, and all these oils on your skin. No, you don't. And the other thing is, you might see really old people, they might have like wrinkle-free skin, and they might tell you their secret was putting olive oil on their skin. Well, I'm here to tell you that the single most thing that ages your skin is the sun. So if you're going out there and you're going to tanning beds and you're trying to look cool and you're trying to get tan and all this stuff, realize that you're just going to age yourself prematurely because it's, it's just not healthy being out in the sun that much and trying to get you know as brown and dark as you can because that's going to really accelerate the rate at which your skin ages. So again, you know, the less things you put on your skin, the healthier your skin will be. Now, if there was one oil that I would say, if you wanted to use an oil on your face and use it sparingly, that one oil that I would recommend is jojoba oil. And you can get this from Mountain Rose Herbs. The reason I recommend jojoba oil is because it's most like the oil in our skin, the sebum. Most, res most closely resembles that and jojoba oil doesn't really clog your pores like olive oil or coconut oil or any of these other you know heavy oils and jojoba oil isn't really actually I mean it says it's an oil but it's really an ester so you know if you're gonna try something you know I would say this is probably your best bet but again It'd be better if you didn't put anything on your skin and you tried working at beautiful skin from the inside out. Because putting all these things on your skin, it's just going to exacerbate the problem. It's going to just create more problems. Um, so, you know, beauty really does come from the inside out. And um, you, can, you can really have healthy, clear skin just by addressing your diet, you know, and uh, exercising, sweating, you know. So, if you have any questions, please um, ask me down below. And if you like this video, please favorite, like, and subscribe. And uh, if you guys like those, uh, the Raw Food Nerd Show that I did yesterday, um, just say yes or no in, in the comments below. And, you know, maybe I can make some more funny videos like that. So, anyways, you guys have a great day. And remember, that clear and beautiful skin comes from the inside out not the outside end.